The mention of flannel may stir up images of torn denim, leather boots, long hair, scruffy beards, and wandering the busy streets of my hometown, Portland, Oregon, with a guitar case and lukewarm coffee. But this menswear staple reaches well beyond grunge and the shoulders of Kurt Cobain. Welcome back to my 1928. I am Piper Williams. If you're new to this channel and want to learn more about how to wear flannel, start now by clicking subscribe and that bell, that way you don't miss any future content. To truly appreciate flannel and its role in menswear, we need to look back to 17th century Wales. In an effort to combat the cold, damp, and windy countryside, wool textile workers tried a new method known as carding which raised and disentangled the tough woolen fibers, making them softer, thinner, and easier to work with, all the while retaining the durability it was favored for. This method created what we know today as worsted wool. The popularity of this new fabric was quickly adopted by local farmers and eventually much of the working class throughout Great Britain and France. Moving forward to America in the mid-1800s, the Industrial Revolution was winding down and its powerful influence was evident by the increased variety and availability of mass-produced fabrics, which included flannel. In the years to follow, this rugged textile would be at the forefront of history and men's functional fashion. From the Union suits worn by railway workers and the buffalo check shirts of the lumberjack, to military uniforms of both the American Civil War and the Great War Abroad, each momentous step supporting flannel as a deeply rooted menswear staple. And while its origin was built around functionality, it is an article with rich aesthetics that can elevate your wardrobe. As with all button downs, an unbuttoned and untucked shirt can look careless and incomplete. It can also make you appear heavier and shorter. Tucking in your shirt will reveal your natural waistline, which can make your legs look longer and help to create a slimmer silhouette. I love the combination of a necktie and flannel shirt. It is an underappreciated look that harkens back to the vintage clothing adverts of the early 1900s, which are a great inspiration for my style and these videos. And as you would with other button-down shirts, add a sport coat. Look for heavier textured fabrics like corduroy, flannel, and tweed to complement your flannel shirt. Styling your wardrobe for colder weather is all about warm layers, rich colors, and strong, comfortable textures that complement the season. Adding a waistcoat on top of your flannel provides warmth without adding bulk or restricting your movements. Go bold with a tartan or check pattern in wool or a neutral gray or brown with flecked tweed or corduroy. And finish it off with your favorite pocket watch and chain. A strong textured flannel paired with a heavy cotton or wool bow tie, especially of the tartan variety, is a powerful combination and one of my favorite autumn pairings. To learn how to tie a bow tie, watch this video. Now I'd like to hear from you. How do you wear flannel? Tell me about it in the comment section below. And if you'd like to share your personal style with me on Instagram and Twitter, use hashtag my1928. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.